I got mail. You got mail. And like any self-respecting YouTuber, naturally I'm going to open it in front of a camera uh, for views. This is just random stuff that I got and it's accumulated and I haven't opened it yet, but I figured I'd open it today. You may have noticed this isn't the, the recording room. I decided to record in the living room today because, I don't know, I'm going through a midlife crisis at the age of 20-something. Now time to uh, uh, get up and awkwardly shuffle around this stupid table I put way too close to the couch. How am I supposed to get back in? I know uh, so some of you got a little worried last time with my knife skills, so uh, I, I guess I guess no more sharp objects for me. So I gotta figure out a way to open these up without using a knife or a box cutter. So, so first up, uh, we're gonna do this one, because uh, I can't even see myself on the freaking camera with this thing in here. Oh, fuck. What did I just knock down? Oh, well, that was my phone. Okay, I don't care. I need to sharpen my tongs, probably. Okay. okay, time to uh, oh, open, open her up. Money shot. So get this, I, I really wanted new pants and I saw some video on the YouTubes where it's, it, it was, uh, it was, uh, some, uh, UK chef. Pretty, pretty, pretty small. You probably wouldn't have known about him. But, uh, uh Gordon Ramsay. This is his pan of choice. What pans do you use at home? Well, today, I'm ready to lift a curtain and tell you that I'm using Hexlab. So, I figured, I'm getting new pans. What are the benefits to his pans? Uh, allegedly, you can't use these with, uh, metal. And you don't have to. You don't have to worry about scratching these and you know f seasoning your food with fucking Teflon. So they're non-stick, but they're not bitches. They can handle a little uh, metal spoon action. It also means I can finally get rid of this piece of shit. You see that? You see that? This is supposedly non-stick. Look at all that brown shit. And and that's after cleaning it, okay? That's after soaking it. That's after reheating it with soap and water. That's after doing all this crazy stuff to try and get all this nasty gunk out. Not nonstick. In fact, this is literally the only pan I have that uh, had anything stick to it, which is super ironic because it was the one pan that was nonstick. Maybe I should use the pan to open up the other box. Showing you like the information side instead of the picture side uh i mean you know a uh, lot, lot of children on youtube they don't know how to read yet so uh we're just gonna flip this bad boy so you can you can tell what it is what what, what is it those kid channels always fucking do they they repeat themselves like 50 fucking times guess what's in the box oh shit i'm about to knock over my mic <laughs> guess what's in the box Pans! There are pans in the box. This box has pans. All you pansexuals better look away. Oh my gosh. I am so out of shape right now. Holy tits. It's, it's, it's 
only 23 pounds. All right, it's uh, PFOA free, whatever that means. The box said FBA on it. I thought it said FBI. They're tracking my pan purchases. Oh, <laughs> ironically, I scratched the warranty. Would you look at that? This certifies that your HexClad product is warranted to be free from defects and material craftsmanship for the lifetime of purchase. Oh, wh what? You know, the Ramsey and 10 with the freaking, uh, like, uh, almost deep fried freaking quadruple thick neck Photoshop picture that they do in the beginning. Bro, that, that thing fucking haunts my nightmares. Oh, you gotta season it. You ever, you ever season your pans? Usually you do it with like cast iron and stuff. You also do it with a wok. Bro, they sent the fucking Iliad with this purchase. Why? I don't like to read that much. This is for cooking, not for college. College students don't use high quality stuff. They eat ramen. And that's not, and that's not saying that's a bad thing. That's called living on a budget, baby. Lids. Don't fucking fall off, you bitch. More cardboard. Okay, they knew what they were doing. You know, you know, you know when you're like, you, you buy something and it has like styrofoam as packing in the box. Well, they use the styrofoam that isn't cancer aids. Uh, they use the one that you know it's just like, oh, like like a spongy styrofoam, not the. Uh, not the one that's like super brittle, cracks, falls apart, and then haunts your carpet for the next fucking three months. Frying pan. Oh, is that, that's the back again. Fuck. Frying pan. Frying pan part two. My life just flashed before my fucking eyes, bro. And we got the big mamba jamba, the, the 12 inch wok. It says 12 inch walk and it has a picture of a fucking frying pan. <laughs> and last but not least, the small 8 inch pan. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. 8 inch pan. Bam. Done. Okay, you know what a lid looks like. I'm not gonna open the lid. Also, the lid is basically half packaged anyway. If you don't know what a lid looks like, get an incognito tab and look up lids. <laughs> I'm every single one of those missed. Bitch, do I need to get the tongs again? Hexclad, you should sponsor me. Look at how well I'm advertising your product. Fuck. So these are the Rolls Royce of pants. What is this hipster bullshit? You get a freaking backpack with every single pan. That's a little overkill, but. Alright, oh, we got Santa's old goodie bag here. I wonder what's inside. Four trillion degrees in here. Okay, don't stab my crotch with the handle. My tongs. Oh my goodness. Where's my where's my uh, portable crotch fan when I need it? Yeah, we're not we're not using the tongs for everyone. I just stepped on my fucking child. Thank you, father. All right, so this is my fan. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go ahead and look at these pans. It's been like, I've, I've been recording for like half an hour and I haven't even shown a single actual pan, just like the box, the box art, you know. I think the most I've ever spent on a pan before was like 20 bucks. Oh, that is sexy. Look at that. Look at that. Well, I'm looking at it. You can't look at it yet. Okay, now you can. Look at that. Look at that. That's fucking beautiful. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show up well on camera, but you know. Uh, ten times better than this actual garbage. <clears throat> oh gosh, it was really hard to stop. I almost actually hit that and just broke everything. Oh, is that a hex-clad uh, pan in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? 
looks basically the same as this one. It's just smaller. And I don't have to do that awkward stack paper towel and whatnot in there. I don't even have to do that because uh, you can put metal on metal, right? Unless this is like some weird mows, mowers, mows test, lawn mower test, where uh, if it's the same hardness, you can, you can scratch it. This is a small pan, small fry. Hey, it's a frying pan, small fry pan, small fry. All right, that's this guy's name. This guy's name is Small Fry. Uh, leave, leave a comment for what you want me to name the other pans. And now, the big boy, the, the master of all four elements. The uh, genie's lamp of cooking utensils or instruments. Fuck. Oh yeah, baby. I gotta walk. That's gonna be nice. I wish I had gas burners, though. I only have the freaking, the coily ones. I should probably test these out. Pro probably in another video, though. You'll, you'll see them implemented elsewhere. Not here, though. Okay, so the other one, I kind of knew it was in it already, but uh, this one, I don't know. So we're actually going to do something more familiar first. So I got this. This is a slap chop. Uh, I, it's got some weird packaging around it, though. So, fun fact, I actually bought this, like, I guess technically yesterday. You, you know when you're when you're at the front counter and you're buying any sort of appliance uh, or even just online shopping and it's all like, would you like to spend another 96 fucking dollars for a warranty? And then you always hit decline because it's a fucking scam anyway. Yeah, I'd like to buy a warranty for this sledgehammer. My intentions are to break Captain America's shield. Like, what are you going to use these realistically that would cause it to break unless it's like super cheaply made and just like super shitty. But anyway, after obviously declining the warranty for this thing at the counter, uh, I immediately dropped it and we all heard this like smack of glass against the metal counter. And then I was all like, huh, good thing I denied that warranty. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, clerk got a good kick out of that one, as well as the next lady in line who was not going to wait for me to finish. I thought it'd be a little more robust than two AAA batteries. <laughs> Instructions on how to use a scale. Um, step on it. Kind of like, kind of like, how do you drive on the interstate? Same, same, same instructions. Give me a battery, you bitch. Maybe I should use the fan, loosen it up a little bit. <laughs> Why am I laughing? That's so dark. This bag is not a toy. Hate me, hate me. On the Plat Color Show, we do uh, we do our own stunts. All right. Uh, does this work on all surfaces? Because I don't feel like setting it up and then moving the camera. I'll, I'll just I'll just do it right here. Oh fuck! I forgot to turn it on. That would help. It, it still doesn't work. Well, that was a fucking disappointment. Okay, that was mundane and boring. Pans, ick. Uh, scales, gross. This, this though. It's gonna blow your socks off. So you better uh, put on your snuggie, cause cause the socks are sewn in. <laughs> That's fucking dumb. <laughs> when in Rome, you know it's it's interesting how we have all these adages and then we just never say the full thing. Like when in Rome, for example. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. You know. We're moving up in the world, uh, not to <laughs> not to flex or anything, but uh, we can afford another pair of tongs if we break these. Just won't be able to eat for the next week. Work a full time job. You think YouTube pays me anything? <laughs> no. I think my ad revenue is like a dollar and thirty three cents per month. Yeah, that's not exactly a ramen every day kind of kind of living. That's more like seriously considering becoming male stripper so if you didn't see by the box also because of the shitty camera angle this is a pizza stone set 
You know what that means, right? Pizza time. Stale Peter Parker memes that I will always love and cherish because Tobey Maguire. Here we go. Shamu- oh, that's- <laughs> there's- there's your money shot, you can't fucking see anything. Pizza. Uh, we got some literature in here. Uh, they just decided to go with a, a short little anthology this time. Nothing- nothing- nothing crazy, nothing wacky. See, th this is what we need to move to. No more of that shitty white styrofoam that isn't spongy. Just the spongy stuff. I like the spongy stuff. So, most of the weight is going to come from what's at the bottom of the box. I just know it. Uh, this is my pizza peel. If you didn't know what that, that's, that's what this is called, don't worry. Uh, like 80% of America doesn't even know what that is. This is a pizza peel. It's not just a useless freaking thing. It's when you put the, the, the pizza, like, on the rack direct. If it had a longer handle, it'd be for, like, a, a wood fire pizza. But this is, this is just for, like, a normal oven where you just... And then you just... Onto the... Yeah. You know? This... This is the Chadwick... Bitch, shut the fuck up. Oh, I need that later, actually. Whoops. This is the Chad version of a pizza cutter. This is called a pizza rocker. Now, for those of you who didn't know, this was an invention made by Little Caesars uh, way back when. I think it was the 1950s or something like that. They made this. They were, they were making all sorts of pizza developments, a uh, very historically significant pizza chain. Little Caesars, they came up with the rocker. They wanted a more efficient way of cutting pizza because the pizza cutter, let's face it, is absolute garbage. You have to go <laughs> across it, and it's super awkward, and like it, you're all like, oh, well, just have a sharp pizza cutter then. No. With this, it can be as dull as a fucking butter knife, and it'll cut through lickety-split. This is literally the technique. It's called a rocker for the reason. Congratulations, you just cut a pizza in half. Quarters. Eighths. Yeah, uh, Pizza Hut picked up on this, so they started using this. Other chains started using this because this is just better in every way. Little Caesars is also responsible for the rotary air impingement oven, which is the oven where it's like a conveyor belt of just metal racks, and they just go through. So the pizza will come out on the other end when it's done baking. So you don't have to use a timer or anything like that. You don't have to check it and whatnot. As long as the oven is up to temp, it will cook perfectly every time. Pretty much, anyway. Uh, let, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you something. This, you see this? This is what a literal fucking caveman would use. Like, look, look at this, look at this, look at this. Fuck. Now, I don't conveniently have two pizzas baked for you for this episode of, uh, box time with Wolfie Boy, but imagine, if you will. Imagine a world without a pizza rocker. If that's your world currently, I'm sorry. You, you, probably, you probably stay up late nights just thinking about how, how shitty your pizza cutter is. I mean, look at this. this. This is how fast approximately it would be to cut the pizza into eight slices. If I didn't have a stroke on that last cut, that's how long it would take, okay? Uh, you saw how slow that was? I mean, when, 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 you're, when you're timing it, it's going to seem so much slower. You're not going to win any speed runs with this. This is like um, playing the game normally in order to speed run it. Absolute cringe. This, this right here, this is like using cheat codes. This is like doing arbit ar fuck. This is like doing arbitrary code execution. And there's the blade protector. Okay, let's just put it on real quick, actually. Let's just put the condom on real quick. All right, so now you got a pizza cutter. Okay, now you got a real pizza cutter, the rocker. Now, watch how fast it is. You remember You remember the time for that, right? Get your stopwatch out. You may, 
Me and need to put this in slow motion, right? That's literally how fast it is. I'm not even exaggerating. That's it. Pizza, cut. Ready to eat. Well, it's still gonna be too hot, probably, because it just came out of the oven. Hopefully, hopefully you're not eating just cold pizza that's uncut. Now, you can put the pizza directly on the rack, and that's fine. If you put it on a metal pan, you're an actual troglodyte. This is what you're supposed to use. Oh, I'm impaling myself with a fucking stone. This. This is a pizza stone. A lot of them are round, okay? So those of you who are confused who are all like, that's not a pizza stone, that looks like a laptop. When baking a pizza, you put this in the oven as the oven preheats. That way it's up to temp by the time you're going to put the pizza in. Then you put the pizza in and then you take it out preferably with the stone in my opinion, just, just, just putting that out there. You can use a peel right? If you want it to cool down quicker. But if, if you're not going to be, you know, d diving in right away, this, this is a great way to keep it hot because the stone is obviously going to stay hot. It's going to continue to cook. You pull it out, bam, on, on the stovetop. Stays warm for like 30 minutes, right? And it's not even in a hot hold or anything. And th there's something about it, right? You don't, you don't clean this with like soap and water. No, 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 no. You, you treat your pizza stone like cast iron. You want to season that hoe, okay? Over the years, you bake a pizza on there, it's going to taste better and better. I don't think this is a good stone for that person. <laughs> Just looking at it. Um, but it's a pizza stone nonetheless, and I like pizza stones. Uh, we can go ahead and open up the last package. Uh, I think I'll just leave this on here, but I'll use this to open it instead. Cover up, slip. So if you're wondering why I covered this one up, it's because uh, it, it, the box tells you what it is. I want a little bit of suspense, okay? Don't judge me. So this is this thing. Basically uh, an oven, but better in literally every single way imaginable. I like toaster ovens. I don't like normal ovens. Ovens, they'll heat up the house. Uh, they're slow to preheat, and most of the time, they're, they're a lot bigger than you actually need. So a toaster works as an oven, and this one even works as an air fryer, so that's pretty epic. You just combine a bunch of stuff into one. Preheats quicker, uh, cleanup's easier, and uh, you can take the grate out really easily. It'll fit in the sink so you can scrub that hoe down when it gets dirty. Uh, this one also has all sorts of attachments and accoutrements and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be using this uh, probably quite a bit. Uh, I don't like microwaves. I don't own a microwave. Uh, that's not to shit on people who use a microwave frequently or anything. It's just I really don't like them. And, and the main reason I don't like microwaves is, let's say you're heating up a slice of pizza. You put the, you put the cold pizza in there, right? You, you heat it up. And then it's all it's all soggy. It just sags. It flops around. It's 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 not nice and crisp and tasty, right? Whereas if you put it in this bad boy, a toaster oven, you're toasting it, and it get, it's all crispy and warm and cheesy and delicious. Bruh, the tongs did better than a fucking pizza cutter. What? Who designed this? Who designed this? Absolute heathen. Bro, the fucking frying pan did better than this. I I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm actually going to use the tongs to open this up. Oh, oh, shitty styrofoam alert. Shitty styrofoam alert. Toaster ovens are known in the state of California to cause cancer. Thank <laughs> you.
California is known to cause cancer in the state of California. Okay, well, that was rather fun. Uh, we opened up some great packages. We, we got some, some, some good styrofoam and some bad styrofoam. Pretty good mix. We even had a history lesson about pizza. That's probably going to do it for this one, though. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe or something, something, something. And remember, if there's any takeaway from this video, uh, tongs work better than pizza cutters, and don't use pizza cutters, get a rocker. See you next time, punks. Ta-ta for now. Time for the ball fan.